or we can deduce that this actually is manufactured by intelligence agency. I mean, no, we're just going to, hmm? it's, it's a series of different smaller actions. No, no, no. Take lines, in science, in science, we look at smaller samples and then we generalize. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look at in labs, we don't do experiments for everything and everywhere. We can do it, you know, experiments in our local small labs and then we can make our principles and theories about it and then say this is how it's going to we can expect it elsewhere to happen so this particular jacket that you're wearing can you really deduce that this was manufactured produced made by intelligent agency or it's possible that we can deduce it came by chance and a randomness. A lot of it is more procedure than like creative. What's the likelihood? What's the likelihood that this popped into existence? We can't say anything really. Uh, plus, we're comparing a jacket to the universe. We can't just. No, 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 do no, no, no. Let's make it. Let, let's simplify things for our own simply and un simple understanding. Is because but we how much of science do you understand? Made, how obviously. much of science do we understand? Not much. Have you understood? Are you studying quantum mechanics, for example? No, I'm, I'm right. Pretty, so pretty let's positive. not go into that level of depth of in science. Let's deal with simple things that, like you know, everyday mundane, like your but jacket. We do have to understand that there's various ways that we can obviously find the creator. Of, you know, the pavement, the asphalt. This obviously was like, created by you know a state which is run by intelligent people, I guess. Uh, in terms of them just being okay, I, I have a hypothesis. People. This jacket is not made by any intelligent agency who possesses knowledge, consciousness or awareness or will or energy. None of that. It just popped into existence. Now, could you prove me wrong? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. How so? Go ahead. I'll Try. I'll bring you to an assembly line where they create the jacket. Hmm? I'll, I'll lead you to the factory where they have they employ the... Child, child labor. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll just show you the factory on which they have made the jacket and then you'll see the conscious and, beings and if I, if, the I, if I'm not able to see that, how, would you, how else would you prove it? I mean, I can just give, lead you there. Hmm? I can just lead you there. Suppose the company doesn't exist anymore, they go bankrupt, they're all busted, well, that's then it. Then it starts being made. Hmm? Then it starts it, being made. No, no, it's already made. Yeah, so, no, yeah, it was there in a, some remote village in, a, in another country, they had this initial venture of manufacturing this, they produced certain lines and they got busted. And that's it, the company was taken over and they made into a sewage re refinery. So it's no longer a jacket factory anymore. So you can't take me back there. So how am I going to be convinced that this is made by a manufacturer and didn't pop into existence just like that? You're just like making very extreme examples to fit what you want to argue no. for. No, no, argue with my example. Because, like, yeah, go on. You stay consistent. But I'm not t telling you something that is irrational, impractical. This happens. This happens. Companies go bust. Yeah. 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 Well, like, so this is one of the companies that happen. Um, the thing is that I'm not getting you here. Because you're, you're talking a very, about... very direct analogy to what you're yeah, making. No, it's actually like, exactly the same thing you're saying. What other do. do you have? What other... What does this have to do this with... Is a, this is a small jacket. On, on a Remember small what we agreed person. on? Let's talk, about, let's talk about smaller things first, because none of us know yeah, and studied quantum mechanics. Sales. Well, you're making or, 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 or um, let's that restrict our language because children may be watching. We, 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 we want to they restrict our language to a acceptable level. I don't think you can make a, an example that can really fit a narrative like that with. But physical. suppose, suppose this is my belief. I believe this popped into existence out of thin air. Well, you can't really relate that with the creation of the universe. No, no, no. Forget that. Bit. Forget the creation of the universe. Yeah, yeah. This jacket is not created and manufactured. It just popped from the thin air into existence. I mean, I and there you the go. Hmm? I can show you other jackets. Or you're just talking about this No, no, that was the only one that they sold here in UK in London. Specifically for this jacket. That one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The company got busted after making guess, 20 jackets, yes, and that's the one of them. There's no rationality to the hypothesis other than the fact that you can't see it. There's no direct. Well, I, I would like to know how are you going to convince me when I can't see another jacket like that? I can't see the manufacturer. I can't talk to them. I, mean, I can't really convince someone who just is stubborn about the fact that this specific well, jacket. Why am I stubborn? Hang on. Why am I stubborn in accepting that this. Are you saying it's impossible for things to pop into existence from thin air? 
Did you post one? Yeah, since you don't know, you cannot say either way, way right? So it's, it's, it is possible, or it may not. So grant that possibility to me that it's possible it came from thin air. So why are you saying it's absurd? Why are you saying it's stubborn? I'm not saying it. What's the argument? It's just no, no, the argument is this came from nothing. It just popped into existence in thin air. We're just saying that this isn't comparable to something large. No, no, you, you're, you're, again, you see. You keep yeah. going back to the well, universe and the cosmos. That's the next logical no, no. Of your yeah. The thing is, we first, know what you're first, here. we need to we understand. Know you're like, first, oh, we need to understand what we're dealing with. What we're dealing with. If you can understand that this jacket, in your comprehension, that it is impossible, because that's your faith. In your comprehension, it is impossible for that jacket to pop into existence in thin air, just like that. If that is your faith and your belief, it's not really my faith though. My idea is that I don't know, therefore I don't really want to cling on to a so it's possible. set. So it's possible. It's possible. I it's possible guess. it came into thin from thin air, just popped into existence. So There's while no it was explanation for either. So while it was nothing, it became something. How do you square that? Maybe it was there all the time. Maybe it, Maybe it was all the, all the Maybe time. Maybe it just, uh, all, like, the materials that were there just randomly So that combined. jacket may be there all the time? Yeah? yeah? But and you, you believe that? Like, you believe like, that, right? Uh, I mean, you know, like, you know what happens... We have so you, little knowledge... Brother, about, so. you know what happens, what happens to materials over time? Can we have the same jacket exactly as it is and leave it for 1,000 years and exactly nothing will happen to it. Do you know what happens over time with materials like that? Are you saying this is a special jacket, nothing will decay, no discoloration, no fading away, no, you know, splitting apart like that? I mean, that goes with the universe itself. Yeah, yeah. So if you said it was always there, you're automatically now telling me this has a special, unique characteristics of the composition of the material that it has it suffers no decay. Well, we might have theories about how the universe recycles itself practically. I'm not talking about the universe, I'm talking about your jacket. But the thing is that we always, we always come back... You see, look, look. Are we talking about the jacket or... Firstly, firstly, philosophy? firstly, do you agree we know very little about our universe? Absolutely. Right, let's not talk about that then. Okay. Let's talk about your jacket. Your jacket... By literally saying that, we can say we know a lot about how the jacket's made, but we don't know a lot about how the... I am made. saying it popped That's into existence from nowhere. Them. You're literally saying you can't equivalent the two things, because we know a lot about how the jacket's made, Look. but we don't know a lot about the universe. So I'm saying, let's not talk about the universe that yeah, we don't know about. Fine, but you're trying so to... You're trying, I am not going to... equate these things, that's what we're saying. I'm not. Because we know you're... I'm not talking about the universe. I'm talking about your jacket. Yeah, I'm talking about... I'm way. talking yeah. about... It's okay, we don't mind. I'm talking about the principle yeah. of... Cause and effect. Um, can you just come here for a second? Can you just like look at the camera as well? What happened? Can you just look at the camera? Look, get in camera shot. And look. <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about cause and effect. We are talking about can things pop into existence from without any intelligent agency prior to an event happening, prior to something materializing. That is the point of a discussion that I joined in. Your jacket is something that is manufactured, something that happened, it materialized. Yeah. It is now in existence. Yeah. So the, the question is meaningful to ask, has it always been there? Like you were saying, it could be. Your jacket may have been always been there. So my question would be, if it has always been there, in this particular composition, it is, it's got chain, it's got buttons, it's got padding. I want to know, without an intelligence agency, this being always there, how did it come into that composition? You need to give me some rational explanation. There is no rational explanation. I don't, I don't, I don't get you. There is none. Such a thing, rational organized, the look, bourgeoisie. does this have three arms or two arms? Two. Two arms. That's so as if like well, it is... Actually, because I mean, he could put his arm through there. Like, yeah. That's three arms. Yeah, I mean, but the way it is designed... I mean, as, 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 as so as the way it is designed, the way it is designed, it looks like it will fit in a particular size of a body who has two hands and you've got the chain to actually close it together you've got pockets to put up things like this and you've got pockets on the front as well with buttons so that add things in there doesn't pop out of it are you suggesting to me that all of these supposed design feature is not a design 
could we be. can decide what we actually want these yeah. to be. So you're saying it's an illusion of design, right? It's an illusion of design. It's not a design. There is no design feature. The fact that the chain itself, look at the way it actually connects the yeah, two parts and with this chain. no no the chain there might be a purpose initially for no, it no the chain the way it is organized i see precision engineering uh -huh. the thing that connects you know they connect like this and then it closes it yeah. it can open it like that uh, such a precision that, engineering but you're telling me you are deluded to think it's a, it's a design. It's not design, it's an illusion. I'm not saying it's deluded, I'm just saying that. But that's the implication. If that's not. It does I mean, for a person who is trying to suggest that there is no intelligent design behind this jacket, I don't think I can really argue with you with how. So, why are you telling me. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Let me concede to one point then. This jacket requires an intelligent designer. Sure. But tell me why. What do you have in that jacket that demonstrates that behind it there's an intelligent designer? It was initially intended for human work. Okay, it looks like it's designed for a human to people to wear it with yeah. two arms and so on and so forth. Yeah. So when we look at features like this and we see that it is manufactured or designed for a particular purpose in mind, for example, when I see the capillary system within the trees it is designed in such a way to draw and pull back water from the roots and defy gravity and take it all the way up to the branches then i see design and then are you telling me that i need to be not stubborn enough to accept the fact that because there's design in there there's an intelligence behind that okay fine i accept that there must be an intelligent designer for the tree i will accept that then but do you accept my acceptance that yes you're on the right track you see the design there must be a designer i can extrapolate that to all of the reality around us and i see design i see intricate design i see harmony and complexity is organization and when i see that you're right i should be you're right absolutely right i concede i should be conceding to the fact that there is an intelligent designer behind it and that designer i call god there's no other option. So should you, because it's the creator. So what's so difficult about accepting the creator then? It's the same methodology that you are telling me to apply and you, know, you can no longer be an agnostic or an atheist, can you? Because you're telling us to believe in a creator. I think it's only an emotional problem. Yeah, yeah. If you're telling us that there is a creator for this universe, I accept that because this sounds to me a sound reasoning. A jacket to the universe, okay. just, yeah. No, no, I started with a jacket. No, now I went to the tree. If you want, no, if you want, jump. if you want, I can go from the tree, I mean, I can talk then go to the trees. bee and go to every single animal with all these intricate design features. And until you're bored, and I eventually will say, you know what, enough it's, examples, it's, it's all design. It's There's also a lot of like animals and trees and stuff where they have things that just aren't necessarily design features, they're just there. Like you look, like you, uh, there's a type of chameleon thing. Yeah, but it's like, it looks know. like it has a fleshy bit on it. Yeah, it's but, no, no, but just or a babarusa. A babarusa, its teeth grow no, that way permanently until no, it's fucking just stabs because, itself. Just because, 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 we, don't the function, function because we don't understand the function of it, just because we don't understand the function of it, doesn't mean that in the future we won't understand it. But let's talk about, let's talk about something called falsification. You're you claiming that are designed, but they're just random. Yeah. They are, you, are you badly designed because you need to excrete and you need to urinate? Huh? Human beings, are you suggesting because they excrete I mean, and urinate, they're badly designed? We have designed? one hole and we have a nerve that goes around okay, us. No, 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 let's not understand that. When we look at, when you look at a human being, I mean, are you missing the point? If it's designed, why do what? we get back pain from uh, standing on, up on. all our lives? Yeah. Our understanding or our stance is this. There's no such thing as a perfect design, what you're thinking of. Yeah. They're all fit for purpose. When the creator has designed all of these things all around us, they're fit for purpose. They're designed in such a way. The reason that we have an earthquake or tsunamis, the reason is, is put there for a purpose. Offshoring or existential so, questions so, about design of human beings, natural disasters, to this superficial figure. It's not a superficial Instead figure. Of just accepting the fact that you don't know. And it's not a superficial really figure. figure out where it is. Why not figure it out? The intelligent designer. We are just biological uh, beings. What? We have no significance in this. Yeah, no, no, let me tell you one thing. Brother, brother, what's your name? Sorry, Michael. Are you, are you atheist? Um, brother, what's your name? Um, 
Uh, fish. Listen. <laughs> Michael and fish. I'm saying, I'm saying this. It's the, yeah, he's my keys to the look, 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 it's look simple, at his nose, it's, it's actually all bone. Let's, let's make it simple, yeah? Anything, whether it's the universe, whether it's a camera stand, whether it's your jacket, whatever. There's, either, there's a few options. Number one is that it came from nothing. Number two is that it created itself. Number three is that it always existed. Or number four is that something caused it to be created. There's the four options. There's no other option that you can have. I mean, I can say number that everything is interconnected. Yeah. In terms of like everything just came from one thing and then those things started using other reasons to create other things from that one. Come here. Perfect, but you know what the problem with that is? So you can pick up it's the mic perfect. sound. If you have something, like, that's an interesting point you made. Yeah. Like, if you had something, like let's say you had a universe yeah. and that was created by another universe, and that was created by another universe, or any other thing, but it can't go on for infinitum. I, I was more saying that, you know, the universe wasn't made by anything and that those things that was made by nothing created stuff. Right, say that again, I don't understand. So like, the universe, I think that it wasn't really created by an It wasn't created design. by a design. Right. design. Right, don't worry and, about designer. And, and those things that have been created for our things, they use the other options to create stuff. We, as intelligent designers, as humans, we've created the jacket, but the jacket and the material that's made of, along with the human material, that was created from nothing. So, you're trying, so, or so maybe there was something, but I uh, wouldn't really uh, say it. I'll be honest with you, I don't really understand what you said, but let me say it and then you tell me if I'm right or wrong. You're saying that the universe wasn't created by like a being, but the parts that make up the universe, the constituent parts, yeah, that was created by, that was created from nothing. No. What I'm saying is that the universe, yeah. we can see has, has been created by nothing. Uh, it's uh, always been there. Yeah, but I have to, right, pause, 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 that's, that's an interesting point. All right, you said the universe as we see it, because we haven't seen it being created. Like the jacket. No, no, let me continue with my point then. The universe, right, we can say that was created by nothing. And the contents of the universe, which is us, yeah. yeah it wasn't really created by anything other than like you know other human beings who create whatever and then the tools jackets you know asphalt i forget about the jacket talk about what biological natural where did that come from if you're you're jumping you're jumping from one you said that the universe you can talk about amino acids and then yeah 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 that's what i'm talking about where did that come from yeah yeah which are atoms which where did that come from where did that come from which came from nothing huh because which came from nothing the guy over there so i think the fundamentally the problem we need to discuss is if something was nothing to begin with, can it become something? Now we're just going to go to semantics. Not it's semantics. No, 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 no. Michael and Fish, if that is your real name, it's not semantics. If something was non-existent to begin with, so imagine something was non-existent, then it became existent. I'm not really claiming that. Well, that's what you said about two seconds. Can I ask you something? It's brother, have you got, that we don't have enough language to describe brother, what really was there. Could something got, originate from nothingness? I don't know. Yeah, but nothing is know? nothing. It's, not, it's the absence of something. So, how so can, what? So how we can, can't really explain it in our mortal okay. mind. So we let me imagine. We can't let's even ask imagine. Thing, but, uh, We're so Earth-centric that we can't imagine. You rather imagine black or white. Yeah. Like Michael, food. right? Yeah, yeah. That's a color. Look, can I, the, uh, we'll yeah, stop yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah. Have, yeah. You, have, you got, have you got a point to make? Because that will like, help us I have a discussion. I don't think that's really a point to make. Okay. I have a point to make. When I say nothing, Here's my understanding of nothing. Nothing means the absence of everything. Uh -huh. Absence of energy, absence of space, absence of time, absence of quanta, absence of gravitational fields or quantum fields. But so can you basically, actually imagine that? I can, yeah. No, you can. No, you can. I just told you. You either get Let the brother make No, no, no. I just told you. I just told you. I make a comparison between what is something. That nothing is just totally absence of all of that. That is my conceptual. That is my conceptual understanding of that. But how it looks like, I'm telling you. No, no. How how it looks like is impossible to tell you because it doesn't look like anything. So that's my conceptual understanding of nothing as opposed to what is something. So in this understanding of nothingness or nothing, which has no energy and none of that, what you, stuff is made of. It cannot then make something because to make something you need energy. First, because it doesn't have energy, it cannot make anything. So if at one point we were absolute nothing to begin with, absolute nothing will be always in result. The fact that we are something, here is a bigger problem. 
for the scientists and the philosophers. Philosophers, of course, they, they know exactly the right answer for that one because you cannot have something now and at point absolute nothing, there has to be always something. Because that's all the rational understanding of reality. No, no, there has to be always something, existence. Either, either the creator who brought about our universe is always in existence, or you can call this universe or the multiverse always in existence. We can take each of the possibilities. In a cycle of this, no creator, it just happens. Look, in, in a cycle, I'll tell you why. Who knows? We don't know. We'll never know. We don't know. We'll never but, know. but we can. We are, we are brother, brother. Brother, can we have just one discussion if you don't mind? When it's a cycle, you can eliminate that this being irrational. You can eliminate that. No, no, I can tell you why you can eliminate cyclical causes. Cyclical causes to cause one causing the other, you can eliminate that as being an irrational. If we are a rational human being, we have to leave the rational stuff. Just like the infinite regress the brother was addressing, that it just goes on and on and on, we can eliminate that too. Do you know why we can eliminate that? Okay. Do you want to explain or I can explain? Let me, I'll give you an analogy. Yeah? Imagine I was hungry today and I asked you to give me five pounds. Like you're not five pounds because it's too expensive. Yeah, yeah, London expensive. Give me ten pounds, yeah? I'm hungry. And you say, hold on a minute. I don't have any money, let me ask my friend. Let me ask your friend. And he says, hold on a minute, let me ask my friend. So he asks his friend. And he, they keep asking their friend because they have no money. If that goes on forever, they keep asking their friend. For 20 pounds, we don't 10 pounds. Get 10 pounds. It gets to a point where it's so no point. No point. It gets to a point where it gets so far from No, there's, there's no point. No, no, there is no point of ending. It's eternally chain. There is endless, endless, endless. So now, would he ever, would he ever be fed by getting 10 pounds from you? What's the point of worrying? No, no, no. Think about it. With the most like furthest point. point, what's the point? Worrying there is no furthest point. Worry about it. The reason why you have to worry about it is because when you start saying stuff like, "Oh, you know, what if the universe is a multiverse or this?" Yeah, but the universe is endless. Yeah. According to dark matter as well. Yeah, so dark matter exists everywhere. Okay. Did you understand the problem of infinite regress? I'm saying I understand. If if there is infinite people in front of you, endless infinite people. This 10 pounds will never come to your hands and to his hands. Never. Because the infinite number of them. That's the problem. That action of transfer of money for him to buy some food will never happen. If the universe were to be in our current state, it will never be in that current state if there were infinite number of causes for our universe. It will never come here. It will never be like this. The action will never materialize. What if I ask someone else and then he just goes right back to there? In a cycle. In a cycle. Imagine now in the cycle that your ex your existence depends on him existing first. What I'm saying is like if he came to me for the ten pounds, I went to him. He went to him for ten pounds, then you go back to him. You're not gonna know why me. You're not gonna. This it will never happen. Ten pound will never come. You will still never get it. But what I'm saying is he's not gonna know the spit. You're not gonna know that I went to him for the ten pounds and then he went to him. But that's a side point. Brother, brother, no, 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 no. I don't have ten pounds. Excuse me. Let me let me take that scenario. Imagine now. If you want to give him 10 pounds, he has to give you first. Yeah, he, ha not give you, he has to give it to you. And he has to be given by him. And he has to be given by me. And I will be given by him. And him through you. So this is the cycle. Would the 10 pounds ever be, be given to him? Imagine now, he, That's what I'm saying. No. this is a cycle. He's outside the cycle, right? We want to give him 10 pounds. But you can only give him 10 pounds if you receive it from him. He can only have that 10 pounds if you receive it from him. And likewise, it goes into a cycle. Would the ten pound ever be on his hands? No, no. But if, he went, if you went to him and asked him, he's like, no, I don't have ten pounds. I have someone else. Just... I'm just telling you. If I'm gonna, if I'm, if I'm gonna get it from him, and he's gonna get it from you, and you're gonna get it from him, and goes on like this in a cycle, this, this cycle. 
This no no, this cycle will never end. It will just keep on going, going for eternity. It will never come to his hand. There could be again the cause and effect. I go to this guy. I'm a brother. The cause of him needing money is I go to that guy. Because what we're doing, we, there is something happening. We keep asking each other for ten pounds. No, because we're asking each other for ten pounds, and it goes back in the world. It goes like a loop. So it will never happen. Then it will it never, never go to his hands. No. Exactly, that's the point. Yeah. So that means. So you agree now, at least conceptually, rationally, if our universe had causes which are cyclical in nature or causes which are infinite one way, endless. Our universe will never materialize. The only remaining options are our universe are always there, or it came from nothing, which we explained doesn't make any sense, or it was created by, brought about by an intelligent agency. What if it's like a cycle of, say, Cycle means the universe will never be here as it is now. It could just fall apart on itself and then the pieces left. You break a Lego set, say you buy a Lego set, you smash it, you build it, you smash it. Build it, you smash it. I want you to. I want you to reflect on the cyclical causes. Whatever the example you bring, this cyclical cause will never act on something to materialize an event. Because each of them... Yeah, yeah. Let's not confuse the brother. Yeah? It will never materialize. And endless, infinite causes Likewise, will not materialize an event or an action. Is there a point asking what the first wave was? Our universe, our Earth, our solar system, our galaxy, our universe will not come into existence if there is infinite number of causes for it. Care about the first one if it just keeps happening over and over. It will not. I don't really care if the first season was summer. You miss. You miss. You miss the point. The universe, if it has causes which are cyclical or endless cycle one way, our universe will not come into existence. The problem is we have the universe. So then I've got my energy for the food, and you're saying that would be cyclical, right? So like, for example, they're saying that my energy, energy is like the seven pounds, right? So the energy is the I had actually got energy to talk about when you yeah. you're not even mind that I've got no, energy no, at all. No, I'm not denying that. But what I'm saying is like, you're just going to get to it. So they're taking my energy to 10 pounds, right? So if I had 10 pounds that I got from you, like if I was to where did you get it from? You said from here. He got it from here. He got it from me. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking the other person. You're saying. No. It's like a cyclical thing. It doesn't make sense. Because if you're saying it's just going around in a cycle, no one actually knows about it. Everyone's dependent. If you're saying they keep asking each other, but then. What about the other person? Yeah, but then you're saying that the other person never produced. It's all they're saying. You're saying, oh, that's not the universe. But then other people would have to have to, no one would have the energy track to do it. Because no one would actually receive any of the energy track. There would be no receiving of it. You understand? You understand? I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Right. So that, that, therefore, my brother is saying it can't be cyclical in that sense. I just it's cyclical would mean that no one's ever receiving anything. No one's actually giving it. So you keep asking. So there must be someone who gives. Or Does the universe show some evidence of design? I don't know. You don't know? That's very dishonest of you. You don't know? Seriously, seriously. You don't see design in the universe? What is design? What is design? What is design? So, look at your clothes, your shoes, your bag, your belt. Does it exhibit design? The answer is yes. I don't have to now ask you anymore, like at this earlier on. Yes, it exhibits design. What constitutes design is when you look at it, when things are outliers to that design. Like, like this, just because the just because the outlier thing is there, just because you know, human beings now have to excrete it means not designed. Yeah. No. This is about what is it designed for? 
So it may be that certain cars are designed to run out of petrol so that you can keep on adding petrol to it because that's how it can handle it, right? It's not a perpetual energy, energy machine where it, it runs without any, any petrol or any gas or, or any electricity. So it's not a design fault, it's the way this is designed like that. So in this universe, around you, it is really, what's this called, um, not, really, not really fair someone to say, I don't see any design. But this design argument can also apply to like set cycles and stuff. Like the oil that powers a car is caused by fishes dying and decaying and then yeah. turning to oil. Yeah, but should you one thing about that? Yeah. And then we then we could yeah. You know what the you thing with that is? I just think it exists. You know what the thing with that is, my brother? The thing with that is your... We believe the design is there, yeah? But when you start saying that, oh, the fish dies because of whatever you need, that's your subjective inference. Because let me give you an example, yeah? You know, if you say there's no design, because if you say there's no design because people have cancer or uh, you know some things are not beautiful as other things, yeah, that's another problem. You know why? Because you're assuming that there should be design in the first place. But as an atheist, there's no design. So I'm not an atheist. I'm saying generally the the. the but as you can see, the atheist mindset in this approach is not really a rational one because. If we are rational human beings, we have to accept, at least admit, that we can see the exhibition of design all around us, all around us, even on our own self. Your tissues of your skin, your heart and liver, the, the cells are different that constitute the tissues. These cells of the heart are not the same type, the cells of your liver, for example, but they aggregate it together in a certain stage of time in your, in your development to make it like that. What made it to go all the way to form the heart and form the liver is because of a program. Because already a program is there saying this is how it should be. The reason why you have certain eye color and so on, they're all programmed in your genes. The fact that people are saying with this atheist mindset there is no program is a little bit um, unfair to even, you know, it's dishonest. It's dishonest. I'm not saying that it isn't a pro, I'm just saying you can also say the same evidence like a cyclical structure rather than just all designed for a purpose. Cyclical structure does not explain uh, anything in our universe. Like something is dependent on another. Interdependency, interdependency. Like the way that like most elements have been created, it's like a no. star is formed and it's got supernova. In, in fact, in fact, is, if something is dependent. And then those, those new elements create new stars. It's another cycle. Dependency, so look, so look, look, look. Things as design or cycles, it doesn't matter. If everything, is, de if everything is dependent, then they have to depend on something which is independent. Ultimately, their existence cannot be explained. The existence of dependent things cannot be explained other than by postulating an independent agent which brings dependent things in existence. You mean like the person asking for the 10 pounds? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can say that. The thing is, the thing is, the you know what the misunderstanding is, I think? There is things happening on the cross. You are taking a By the way, um, people, if you haven't subscribed to Dawawise, please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Dawawise, yep. Yeah. Um, because we have unique contents there. Um, and we can have a lot more discussion there and otherwise we have live streams and so on and so forth you know and appreciate that you are watching us and we are learning from you you perhaps you know benefiting from these discussions here so please do subscribe to Dawawise yeah I think there's one I'm getting the mic so you can hear it because we're not picking up the sounds. Carry on. I think there's one point of confusion. You know when you say that, for example, you mentioned about the supernova, that the elements come from that? Look, we're not denying that there's, there's cycles within the universe. For example, your DNA, there's something called ubiquitin, yeah? that flags the DNA, thing. then proteasms break it down into individual parts, then it rebuilds into DNA, so that's a cycle. We're not denying that there's cycles of 
processing. That's like a separate. That's, we are believing that because God is sustaining those cycles. Like there's a lot of cycles happening in your body right now. That's a different discussion. When you're when you're talking about cycles, there's not a problem. The problem comes when you say that there's fundamentally with the universe that there's a cyclical or endless structure. I mean, that, that that doesn't work because logically, from a logical perspective, from a foundational perspective, like it's like if I have a jigsaw puzzle and I have a piece, it's like you're trying to fit in the piece, but it's not fitting in. Well, I'm, we're going from different. You're assuming there's a foundational perspective. Of the I'm just saying it could have gone forever. No, but we. Just, or even if it did, I think I don't really see a point like worrying about like where it all starts. If That's it goes a separate on argument, but brother. Like, we just, can I just say, we just, they're trying to disprove fucking evolution, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh brother, but we just agree. We sort of did agree a little bit. We sort of did agree a little bit that there's no. Yes, this, because he has been sorry, proven. Sorry, brother. Oh, speciation. Rapid right. speciation in our days. Uh, you know, we were saying, you were saying that you understand the whole cyclical thing doesn't work, right? Remember, you said that because we were talking about that like, it, it wouldn't work because. We're both saying it works. No, no, not that. The, the thing about the end of the cycle of no one receiving anything. Like, you can't keep. This has to be a point at which something receives energy, life for it to have then propelled. Like otherwise, because otherwise you're saying if I asked him for ten pounds and you, he asked you and he asked you and then he asked me, I don't have ten pounds yeah, to give again, him. If it keeps going for long enough, what's the point? No, 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 no. Where's no, the ten no. pounds coming from? Though? Where is the ten pounds? Where is where is energy coming from? And ten pounds in this is analogous to the energy. If there's yeah. no ten pounds. Can there's, I, no way, there's no energy. Can I, I there's have no to go over there? You understand what I'm saying? I guess. Yeah. This is new. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Speak, speak about Joining that conversation if you don't mind. Like okay. this, you have to, like, 